In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really simple way that you can attack the meta in Madden 23, a way that you can kind of use the U-Trips formation to attack it with simple route combinations that are going to get open against any defense in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to get better at Madden, make sure you join my Patreon. Uh, my Patreon page is where I put access to all my eBooks. Uh, Patreon members get access to everything. I have 11 uh, offensive and defensive eBooks available in my Patreon page, and I also have more eBooks on the way. So you get access to all the current eBooks, all the updates to those eBooks, and um, any new eBooks as well. Now, I uh, just wanted to break this play down out of the U-Trips formation. Uh, the play we're going to be taking a look at today is Pat's Slot Out. We're going to show you a nice little variation on this concept that I really like to use uh, to beat kind of some of the meta coverages that you're going to see. So the main thing on this play is you have a really, really good route to the R1 receiver. Uh, and then what we can do is with a tight end apprentice, um, we can put the tight end on a crosser. Now, if you don't want to put the tight end on a crosser, go ahead and put him on a smart route to in route if you don't have tight end apprentice. But crosser is definitely better. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna motion Mike Evans across and you're gonna put him on a slant. So you're gonna have a slant crosser concept with a really good little out route on this left side. So you see there's my slant. Let me sub in a, a little bit better of a player at the slot. Uh, the abilities that you want to use with this offense is you really want to use uh, short in elite at specifically the slot receiver um, is probably your one of more important positions in the offense so if you can get a short in elite it really does help a lot when we're talking about kind of building a route combination because it's going to help them get off of the jam uh, which is what is going to make this out route really one of the better routes in the game so We'll show it to you again here. If you want to leave this post to the tight end, you can as well. Um, but what you'll see is he'll get outside and a lot of times he'll get wide open. Now, a lot of people right now in Mutt, they are shading their coverage outside and over top. And this is really a great concept for beating that kind of coverage because this out route especially if it doesn't get pressed, it's really consistent against man, as you see right there. Really easy pass lead outside, and we're able to get the ball uh, to the sideline. So real simple uh, with that route. Now, you can wheel your running back if you want to, um, and the reason you might want to do something like that is because it's just going to continue to help open up these little pockets over the middle of the field. It's also going to help if they blitz you. So let's say that they're sending some pressure um, you know, and then because they're sending pressure, they have to kind of overcompensate, you know, so maybe they're doing something like this, five man pressure, they get the safety, uh, manned up on the running back. You can kind of quick pass this out here quick. And a lot of times you can get, if you break a tackle, you could be, you know, into the open field. So really good route combo against man to man. Now, the other thing I want to get into is some zone stuff. So. Once they start throwing zone your way, the main route on the play against zone is really this tight end crosser pass lead that up and out. As you can see, wide open against zone. Now, this fade on the left side is also one of the better routes in the game, and it's kind of serve a purpose as a potential shot route. It's also going to serve the purpose as just a simple pull route as well. Uh, but what you'll see is, like, let's say they're in cover two, you can oftentimes pass lead that to the outside have at least a chance at being able to bomb cover two. And then if they're in cover three, I'll show you that real quick. Let's say that they're in cover three. And you see how I can kind of pass leave that into the seam into kind of a soft spot in the zone. So that clear out fade is one of the best routes in the game for breaking down zone coverage. So once they get into zone looks, you're gonna be working that a little bit more. That clear out fade also, you'll see here, sometimes they'll kind of naturally rub into one another, and this can be a bomb over the top against man to man as well. So this play is really simple. It can beat every coverage in the game. I think U-Trips, one of the things that's really glitchy about the formation is all of the different types of motion snaps that you can do uh, to kind of get some of these routes open. It's also contains some of the glitchy routes in the game, like this fade, like this quick out route. 
and you can kind of leverage that to, to be able to beat all the defenses in the game. Now, uh, if you want to learn more about the U-Trips formation, make sure that you join our Patreon. $10 will get you access to everything, including the U-Trips ebook, as well as any updates to the ebook that we're going to be dropping in the future. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is down in the description below.